to Automotive One, your automotive channel number one. 2018 Mitsubishi Outlander. Reasonable and inventive yet generally profoundly imperfect? The Mitsubishi brand might be better known in America for its ventilation systems and extra-large flat-screen televisions than its autos, however the organization sells a few distinct models in the United States, including the multifaceted Outlander. This astounding-looking reduced hybrid is defended by obsolete styling and shoddy execution, however it likewise has specific attributes that barely any of its opponents can coordinate. This incorporates a standard third line of seat, a module half-and-half -half powertrain that can drive exclusively on power and has quick charging capacity. While the Outlander has an agreeable ride and focused alternatives, its infotainment framework is out of date and its third column is truly confined. Other than the lineup's more moderate modules and the creative cross-breed framework, the Outlander is beaten by generally choices. What's new for 2018? Following quite a while of deferrals, the Outlander FEV, module crossover electric vehicle, at long last touches base in US showrooms for 2018. While it has been marked down in Europe since 2013, the FEV still has propelled innovation, for example, level 3 quick charging, one of a kind among module hybrids. The Outlander uses Chainmo level 3 quick charging hardware, which utilizes a 480 volt DC fitting to definitely diminish battery accusing circumstances looked at of level 1 and 2 chargers. Whatever remains of the lineup gets little outside and inside updates and also reshuffled standard highlights and choice bundles. Trims and options we choose. The Outlander has an expanded arrangement of power trims that match with a few trims and alternatives. The individuals who need the best highlights and the capacity to tow up to 3,500 pounds ought to consider the V6-fueled Outlander GT, yet its $33,240 beginning cost contends with numerous unrivaled adversaries. Something else, the Feb offers a class-restrictive power terrain for as low as $35,590, before any government of charge credit. All things considered, we don't know the module's juice play on words plan, is justified regardless of the press. Rather, we play to the Outlander's quality of being a reasonable three-push hybrid with pertinent alternatives. This implies the four-barrel SE with super all-wheel control, SAWC, all-wheel drive, beginning at $27,940. Its champion standard highlights are 7.0-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto dual zone programmed atmosphere control passive section this model might not have the most recent dynamic well-being alternatives but rather their non attendance keeps up an aggressive value that urges purchasers to reconsider before picking a more conspicuous brand powertrain and charging with three powertrains that incorporates a class selective fev module mixture electric vehicle demonstrate the outlander has something for nearly everybody except if zippy speeding up and motor refinement are essential, that is. The V6 loads considerable towing capacity, and the FEV highlights a cutting edge half and half framework that uses level 3 quick charging. The base 166 horsepower 2.4 liter inline 4 matches up to a ceaselessly factor programmed transmission, CVT, with either front or all wheel drive. The last form we tried was unremarkable. With dormant execution, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.3 seconds, and a passionless CVT that gives the RPM a chance to take off in the motor grow. Nonetheless, it undermines the V6 and FEV models by a few thousand dollars, which increases its allure to some degree. The 224 horsepower V6 and 6 speed program match only with super all wheel control, SAWC, all wheel drive which is discretionary with the four chamber. The framework utilizes constrained slip front differential and other torque vectoring systems to advance footing and cornering capacities. While the V6 we tried had noticeable speeding up versus this aggressive set, the motor was discernibly abrupt under load, and the transmission was languid. Efficiency and driving rate the Outlander lineup isn't the most fuel-effective in this portion, yet it has the main module crossbreed, which can run exclusively on power. 
While the FEF has a remarkable powertrain, its EPA valuations and certifiable efficiency are unremarkable. This additionally applies to the four and six chamber forms. Since we haven't tried the former barrel on our fuel circle, we did exclude it in these graphs. Be that as it may, even with all-wheel drive, the four barrel outlet at 24 miles per gallon city and 29 miles per gallon expressway, has equivalent or preferable general EPA valuations over either its V6 or crossover kin. The Outlander lineup isn't the most fuel productive in this fragment, however it has the main module half and half, which can run exclusively on power. While the FEV has a one-of-a-kind powertrain, its EPA valuations and certifiable efficiency are unremarkable. This likewise applies to the four and six chamber adaptations. Since we haven't tried the four chamber on our fuel circle, we did exclude it in these diagrams. Yet, even with all-wheel drive, the four-barrel Outlander, at 24 miles per gallon city and 29 miles per gallon expressway, has equivalent or preferred general EPA appraisals over either its V6 or mixture kin. Mileage ratings compared. Electric only range. Since the Outlander FEV is exceptional to this class, it has no contenders with an electric just range. Its 12.0 kWh battery gives it 22 miles of consolidated city, parkway though as indicated by the EPA, however the gas motor gives reinforcement when the juice runs out. In our genuine interstate testing, the Outlander conveyed an amazing 26 miles of electric just range. Electric vehicles as a rule don't do well in this test because of the impacts of streamlined drag and an absence of chances for regenerative braking. Thank you for watching this channel. Don't forget to subscribe this channel.